This episode of Talking Timbers is brought to you by Appalachian Log Structures, Log Home Insurance, Honest Abe Log Homes, Rustic Log and Timber, Stone Mill Log and Timber Homes, and Timberhaven Log and Timber Homes. Uh, I have with me Ryan Arbuckle. Ryan is with Hobble Creek Carvings. He's out there in Springville, Utah. And uh, Ryan, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Uh, this topic we're going to talk about, you know, when people are designing a home, you know, they, they go through the early stages and they talk about the floor plan and the design and, you know, making sure the foundation is what they want and the garage and all those things that make up the house. Where you come in is you kind of maybe make it a home. Uh, you add things like custom carved doors or mantles, uh, a lot of different things that you do that are really works of art. And I encourage everyone to go to Ryan's booth and, and you'll see what exactly I mean there uh, with the mantles. But let's talk about the uh, design when thinking about the mantles and doors. Like what is the process for people um, when they start to kind of say, okay, what size, how do I go about this time frame? all those things. Can you kind of help them out with that, Ryan? Sure. So what we're looking at is, you know, you, you have certain centerpieces of your home that we like to convert into nice conversational pieces as guests and family come into the home living areas. Um, the doors are typically your standard size doors. So what we do is we apply our designs on the existing doors that we'll install in the standard sizes. And what we do is we work with the designers and the homeowner um, to make those designs custom for their their home. Gotcha. If certain life experiences or life stories they want to capture into a carving, that's what we do. Is we have we have world renowned sculptors on hand and in house that help us do these carvings and. And what we do is we'll do the design concept stage. So we do rough sketches with the customer, the homeowner, and the designer. And then we start fine-tuning it um, to what they're exactly looking for and exactly wanting to have. And then we get into the detailed designs and let them approve that. And then get into the, if we need to, we'll do the uh, clay molding uh, modeling first and then get into the final production of the wood carving of the mantle, the doors, the, the cabinetry or whatnot. So you, I think you kind of answered my next question. When you were throwing around the terminology of sculptors and carvers, uh, I was thinking, wow, are they one and the same? But what happens is really the sculptors create this mold and from that mold, the carvers then actually carve whatever that design is is that accurate correct so we have some that are one and the same um one of our sculptors his name is craig cone and he's he's got some great sculpting capabilities and, and um, you can see his artwork around around the world whoa and what he'll do is he'll do the the clay modeling and that will give him the base to start into the carving and just so you know ryan we were able to uh uh, Samantha, the uh, Vanna White of the production here today is right on her game. She's got your website up and um, getting things rolling here. So we're able to look at some of your custom mantles that are on your website. These things are absolutely incredible. But, you know, when you talk about doors, you know, doors are two six or three foot or two eight or whatever. When you get into mantles, you really got to think about, A, how they're going to be mounted to the foundation the size of the mantle, the species of wood, probably a little bit different design? Yeah, so it all depends on, on the homeowner, what kind of wood type that they want to use, you know, the size. And we will get the house plans or the home plans yeah. and what they're looking at. And then we can go from there and we can actually build a foam type block out um, so they can kind of see how it will look um, before you put even the real the real mantle or the real piece in and also that block out will help if they've got rock work coming in or if they have any other finishes going around that block out will will tell the other uh, craftsmen you know this is where the mantle will be um, wow. 
kind of how we we work very closely with the homeowners and the designers to make sure it's a seamless process in getting what the homeowner really wants. We we worked with high scale, you know, large lots, large homes, um, and so it's we we've been through the whole gambit and understand the process. So it's a really a collaboration, especially when you get into these highly custom detail oriented pieces based on what I can see, they're all pretty well uh, detailed. Got a question from James Hogan here for you, Ryan. Uh, first, he says beautiful doors. Uh, secondly, is your work available on a variety of exterior wood doors or must the door be a specific wood material? It's actually a really good question. No, we, we work with any type of wood material. So that's, if you have a custom or exotic wood material, we'll work with that also. So we can carve in any type of wood material that you have. So are you always supplying the wood and people are specifying what species or does it work both ways? Either way, the majority of the time we'll supply the, the material. Okay. Fantastic. Wow. But if, if the customer says, hey, look, I found this wood, it's... It's this wood from this this area of the country or area of the world. I want to have this design put in it. We'll ship it to you. We can do that also. Gotcha. Well, that's good to know. And uh, Samantha's got the uh, showing some bathrooms. So you really cover all the rooms of the house. And people might look at this and go, holy cow, this is expensive or not, depending on what your, where your budget is. But you probably get a lot of people who just do one accent piece or something just that they want to trick out in their home. Uh, I assume you, you see that as well as as well as full houses getting done. Exactly. And that's that's the big thing is what we're looking for is a conversation piece. You know, someone wants a family wants to put or or a hunter wants to put. Look, I shot an elk here or we did this trip over here and it was beautiful and they took a picture of it and they say i want to put that in that design or on that door on the mantle we can take that picture or take that you know shot and create that scenery for them and you know when people come in and, and they sit down in the living room or the family room and they see the mantle and just you know it, it ends up you know that conversation it's like oh this is what we did this is why we have this here it, it, it helps kind of bring everything together in the home and, and it, it's really you know the centerpiece plus a conversation piece uh i have a question from michael zist appeal and i hope i didn't butcher that too badly uh michael's got a good question do you do the installation or does the owner need to find an installer we we do the installation we can do the oh, okay or, so that's yeah, part of your dollars. what you offer then whether it's a mantle or uh, a door you're doing the install yep any any of it and you can see also we've done some critters we did some critters for someone's home where they want to have you know squirrels running around on the log timbers or a nest <laughs> or birds or even you know we could do a mountain lion lying lodging or laying down on one of the timbers looking down oh cool yeah you know that's kind of what we do is we we make it a kind of an i don't want to say interactive but just you know get that wow factor there i love the i just saw a picture of the squirrel and it looks like a timber frame home right in between a, a bracket and a post i mean that's really cool yeah so you know wildlife if you're looking for you know wildlife critters sculptures we do all that too carvings I'm sure you don't need to do the install on a critter. Is that a fair statement? <laughs> it, wherever you want to put it, it's fairly <laughs> easy to install, but you know, if we're in there doing the mantles and whatnot, that's just part of it. <laughs> um, uh, this beautiful work, uh, you and your crew there, looks like uh, you, you pretty much artisans, uh, really nice stuff. Uh, Ryan, we're getting near the end of this. This has been really informative uh, from this side of uh, building your dream home. Uh, tell people a little bit more about your company and they go to your booth or, or they go to your website, they can see these photos that we've been flashing by here. But kind of give us an overview of Hobble Creek carvings and how you're you know, built and so on and so forth. So Hopple Creek Carvings in Springville, Utah. Springville, Utah is kind of known as the art city of Utah. A lot of artists, a lot of sculptors. Um, we have bronze statue. Our neighbors, Gary Price, is a world-renowned uh, bronze statue sculptor also. And what we feel is it's, it's becoming a lost art. And 
in the um, in the market in the country, and we want to bring that back of uh, beautifying homes and, and creating these kind of life um, lifelike images that that people will enjoy. And we just we have craftsmen that are fantastic, and sometimes you know they can't find work or whatnot because an artist is. <laughs> It's a tough, tough market for an artist, but that's where we try to bring them in and 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 use and apply their skills because it's just amazing what these guys can do and and then apply it into the wood and, and, and into homes. So that's kind of what our goal is. Ryan, I want to thank you for your time today. It was great information, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. 